Hi, my name is Jose and I'm with Century 7. I just wanted to walk you through a few features here on the new blog for Lakeshore Express Aviation. So here we are at the uh, front page and the URL is lakeshoreexpress.com slash our blog. And um, first thing I need to do is I need to log into the administrative interface. So I'm going to go to wp-admin and that's going to take me directly to the login screen. And I'm going to go ahead and put in my username and password. And since this is a private computer, not a public one, I'm going to go ahead and tell it to remember me. That way I don't have to log in every time that I come and, and open up the browser. If I don't do that, the moment that I close this browser and close my session here, um, it's going to automatically log me out. So if you're on a public computer, um, you will want to leave that unchecked. So go ahead and tell it to log me in. And then once it logs me in, it's going to take me directly to the WordPress dashboard. Over here on the left-hand side, you're going to see a bunch of different menu selections. This is kind of the, the heart and soul of, of WordPress right here. And it allows you to change a tremendous amount of stuff inside of WordPress. But what we're going to be most interested in is posts, because this is this particular version of WordPress is being used as a blog right now. So um, once you're logged in, one thing you'll know, I'm going to go ahead and come up here, and I'm going to right-click and open up the site here and that's going to take me this little shortcut right here whether it says visit site or I just click on this right here it's going to take me to the exact same place which is the front page of the blog here now you're going to notice since I'm actually logged into WordPress I still have access here to the WordPress administrative taskbar so I have a very simple way to go back and forth between the dashboard and between WordPress right here very very easy to do and if you're making changes to the site and you want to see those changes you can actually make those changes here in the dashboard come out here and then just refresh the page to take a look at those changes so in our next video um, actually we're gonna go ahead and go over creating a post and when a post is created in this system it can or cannot be automatically um, sent to tumblr if you don't do anything if you just create the post regularly it will automatically go to tumblr if not I will show you um, because I'm going to create a test posting and when we create a test posting I'm going to show you um, how to actually um, uncheck the box that will ensure that it actually doesn't get posted to Tumblr. If you don't do that and you just do a regular posting it will automatically get posted to Tumblr. So I'll see you in the next video.